So for this demo, I'm gonna go through the features of the plugin. I'm also gonna show you how I got the tones from the playthrough that you just heard. I hope you liked it. And I'm also gonna compare it to the real thing. So sit back, enjoy, and let's check it out. So I have my session loaded up here. And starting off, we have two DI guitars, one left and one right. And without the pedal engaged, they sound like this. Pretty kick-ass, right? <laughs> so let's check out the grindstone pedal and the features that it has. And so first off, when you load it up, it looks like this by default. And it's pretty much the same look as the original pedal with some minor tweaks. Uh, I'll get back to this page in a minute. So let's just uh, focus on this area down here. First off, you have an input gain here. And next up is the gate, which also has a boost built into it. And it's the Schnauzer gate from Clearton and also based off an original pedal, uh, actual pedal that uh, they've collaborated with Audiority to make a VST version of it. And it's an awesome gate, a simple control, you just to turn this threshold until you're satisfied with the, how much the gate uh, reacts. And this boost uh, is just as simple as turning it uh, as much as you want and really helps to add some um, saturation into the pedal itself. So it's awesome. And boost on and off here and gate on and off here. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the boost section of this pedal when you can hear some audio examples. Uh, next up is the Grindstein itself uh, with a lot of different uh, tone variations you can get by turning these knobs in collaboration with each other. So I'm just uh, gonna go through them in a while and you can hear how each knob affects the sound, basically. After that, you have an EQ section, also a brand new VST pedal, and it's called the Fleisch with a killer GUI, which gives you pretty much nightmares just by looking at it. It had some um, specific EQ frequencies that is boosted or cut depending on which ones uh, you use here, and I'm uh, also gonna go through them. Uh, cab section here is basically a bunch of IRs that uh, Christian Kohler had made uh, to suit uh, this pedal, and it sound really awesome. You can get uh, huge variations of tones as well by just flicking through these IRs here. Next up is the output section, and up here you have a preset that's also made by uh, Christian Kohler. And as a really nice starting point, if you're looking for like some help to get you close to the tones that uh, you like, just flick through this and uh, then adapt the tones to your liking and the gear that you're using, basically. All right, so let's check out some audio examples and what the different knobs do to the sound. Uh, starting off with the gate, first of all, I have the pedal set up like this. Uh, the EQ is set like this and the cab is chosen is the modern gore. But moving over to the gate, uh, I'm just gonna mute these and we'll hear the guitar in solo. So let's check it out. I have the boost disengaged and I'm gonna engage it and then increase the boost. You can hear how that sounds. So here we go. As you can hear, really adds uh, some meat into the pedal. It sounds really kick-ass. Uh, it increases the volume, of course, so I can be a, a fool to notice that it sounds better. Uh, I think it adds uh, some nice saturation and really uh, cranks up the, the gain on the pedal. So it sounds really great. Moving over to the Grindstein, I'm gonna play through it and twist some knobs so you can hear what they do to the sound. Uh, most of them are pretty self-explanatory, uh, besides a couple of them that I'm going to go through right now. And uh, mainly it's uh, this section up here, uh, the grind, is uh, basically how much of the Swedish death metal chainsaw sound you want, from 0% up to 100%. Uh, and that, in conjunction with the mid-cut, 
it really comes in handy because if you crank the grind all the way to up to 100, you get um, some uh, mid high frequencies that could be a bit abrasive. Uh, but then you have this mid cut knob here, which uh, basically controls those frequencies uh, in different amounts, uh, depending on how much you want it to be cut, basically. And the mix knob here uh, is all the way from zero to 100, where 100 is full on grindstein. Uh, if you turn it over to zero, you get a basically a um, real clean modern metal tone uh, without any of the death metal grind uh, engage basically uh, but you can tailor that to your liking so that's an awesome uh, tool to have the face flip over here you can use that as a nice creative tool uh, it screws up the sound in a really cool way so i urge you to check that out but i'm gonna flick that over so you can hear how that sound and the fx loop down here allows you to disengage the bottom shaker part of the pedal uh, and that uh, pretty much allows you to uh, use any other favorite amp sim of your choice or another pedal uh, in that case um, and use those in parallel with each other. Uh, it's a pretty easy setup. I'm not going to do that right now, but you can check out the manual and they have a setup there which uh, shows you how to set it up in Cubase, but you can use that setup in any other DLW basically. Uh, so check that out. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so let's hear it in action. I'm going to play through it and press some knobs so you can hear what they do to the sound. So let's check it out. This sounds really sick. I love this pedal. Next up is the EQ section. I'm gonna keep the settings right like this and flick through some of the EQs here so you can hear how they sound. So I'm just gonna play through it that one as well. So let's check it out. <laughs> Thank you. 
So really huge uh, variations of tones you can get out of it by using the EQ here as well. And it's a simple on and off button down here as well. Moving over to the cab section, I'm going to play through it and uh, flick through the different IR so you can hear how they sound. And of course you can turn them off if you want to use your own IR or if you have a third party IR of your choice that you really like. Uh, but I assure you these are really really good and tailored to this pedal so I encourage you to try them out and uh, so let's hear how they sound starting off with the modern gore and I'm gonna work my way through <laughs> Sounds really sick, all of them. Different tones, uh, of course, depending on what IR you choose. Uh, and of course, if you flick through these and uh, go back to the EQ or to the grind settings uh, in general, of course, you can get uh, huge variations of uh, tones here. But that's for another video. <laughs> yeah, so let's see how it stacks up to the original pedal. <laughs> 